Hello, Calvin Jones here with the Park Tool Company here for Tech Tuesday, where we're gonna take a virtual bike ride on a Wednesday. Let's go, because I think a hill is coming at us. We hop on the bike and we, oh, big gear, but we grind it out. Let's shift, because a hill is coming up. Another lower gear, and another. This thing shifts like a dream. Goes and goes. It's getting steeper, it's hills getting steeper, a little steeper, and our dream's gone away. It's not shifting so good, but we're not getting off. We know what to do. You just force it through. Hey, now it's shifting. Great. Couldn't have been a problem. We're at the top of the hill. Now we're gonna go back down. All right, we worked for this, this is the fun part. It's getting steeper. It's getting steeper. It's getting steeper. Oh, yuck. There we are again. Down. Down. Up. We fixed it. Shoo. All the way down, and we're back at the start. Oh. What's going on here? Good shifting? It's actually pretty good shifting for one of them. Two bad ones. 12 speed here. Actually, now you got a 10, right? But let's talk about what to do. You're on the saddle. You're riding along, and Things are skipping. What can we do? You don't want to stop. There's an old adage, when in doubt, turn it out. Turn out the barrel adjuster, quarter or a half a turn. It's the tendency for our cable systems to slacken. So if it's an index problem, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go a half and see what we get. So we shift on up and we shift and we shift and we get to what we think might be, hmm. I don't think that helped at all. This was an index problem, no. Finding the problem is important so we can have the right solution. It's not indexing. So you're pedaling along though, you're up in the saddle, you might be thinking, ah, chain problem. It's a tight link in the chain. But that tight link, it's going to be about once every two pedal strokes. This skipping, it's like twice per pedal stroke. Not the chain, not the indexing. Band hanger, ah, maybe? No, all the other gears would have been off. All the other gears are fine. Sometimes you gotta get off and have a closer look. So we have to dismount, we have to get down closer to that cog and have a look. We shift up, and oh boy, is it ugly. We go slow and we see that lift. Oh, twice we go in one more cog. It sits there, but it's more subtle. We do have a little bit of clanking. This one, horrible. What's going on is a problem with the sprocket, the one that we're on. This is where, as a mechanic, you gotta remember two different points of view. So it's nice to come in and look this way. We can see the chain hopping, but we're also gonna remember to change our viewpoint, come down on it at another angle, and boy, oh boy, we can see that one. Looks bent. Badly, badly bent, right? Here, and again, here. So what, what was going on here? I would have loved to have been a fly on the chain stay when that went on, because I suspect it happened all at once with a monster power stroke and a bad shift. So just the timing of it, unfortunate shift, may have pulled that sprocket over. Whatever it was, it's pretty much history now. So you're on the trail, what can we do? Don't use it, right? Doctor, this hurts. Doctor says, don't do that. Here, now we got a 10 speed. Started with a 12, just don't use it. You get back home, can we fix it? Not really, not a good fix. You would have to bash it back in. You're not gonna get in here and pry, there's no room. If you did, you've weakened the metal. It's weakened once, you've weakened it twice. Replacement, in this case, is really what we need. But 
diagnosing the issue. That is the important fix. So we know what to do. Get a new one on a Wednesday. And that's it from Park Tool. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.